Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I had a very different video planned. I was going to talk about the Monster High Maisie Willen Wylin collaboration, but I was advised that that may not be such a good idea. Because, I don't know, a lot of people didn't like it. So I don't know how a video on that would do. But anyway, that's not what's important. I have a package, as well as some stuff that I got at the flea market today. So it is time for another signature Lizzie haul video. I think that's going to become my Sunday staple. Just, uh, the haul videos. The haul videos will only happen on Sundays. That is the way it will be. If you hear people talking in Spanish in the background, it is my grandma. She is over. And she is kind of loud. Like me. That's where I get it from. So let us begin with this Amazon package. I know it's technically not something I thrifted, but I got it, so I want to talk about it anyway. So within this package, we have, yes, there she is, the Brat Sweetheart Megan reissue. I've always loved Sweetheart Megan. I'm so glad that this reissue came out looking so faithful to the original, and from the looks of it, I got a pretty good face. No messed up lips, her eyes are pretty well placed, everything looks good. I absolutely love the way they did her box with the heart shape, just like the Pampered Pups dolls. I love that they included all of her jewelry again because Brad's jewelry is so hard to find. So this is great. I absolutely love that this was included. We have the Sweetheart text, Collector's Edition. And they priced this doll pretty fairly too. 40 bucks for all of this detail and an exclusive Sweetheart charm for you. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to swallow it whole. Flip her around, and we have Sweetheart Collector's Edition. It's love at first sight with this limited edition Bratz exclusive that captures all the red-hot fashion funk and smolder in style of Bratz celebrating their true passion. Fashion! <laughs> and there's all the things that she comes with, and I'm gonna make her her own video. I will be reviewing this doll. Don't let that video flop. I really like making reviews. Please watch my reviews, guys. But now that Megan's out of the way, we can get to the things that I actually thrifted today. Watch my Fly Girl review, please. It's my most recent video other than this one. Anyway, today I went to a flea market like two hours away from where I live, and then we went to an antique mall nearby. I didn't find anything at the antique mall. My mom found two Barbies that she wanted and some Barbie outfits for her dolls because she gets a lot of nude Barbies just because she likes their faces. Um, she, we also found some Barbies at the flea market, two of which I will be including in this video because they're really cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really cool set. So let's start with the first Bratz doll that I found today at the flea market. It is this Rock Angels Chloe. <laughs> now, um, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know that I own four of this doll now, this one being my fourth. Um, her hair was a disaster, but I just did my usual method of hot water and conditioner. Her hair, her face was incredibly stained. There was like dirt everywhere. There's still a little here. I'll need to go through with the bleach cleaner again, but I did my best and I got rid of all of the dirt on her face. I think I'm pretty good at restoring dolls. But anyway, I absolutely adore Rock Angels Chloe and I've been wanting one that I can just redress. So this doll is perfect for that. I wish she was the tattoo variant, but I already have that one in the box. I just want one out of box so I can play with her. But uh, she does still have the diamond belly button ring, which is very good. She just cost a dollar, and I'm very happy with her. This There's a minor lip flaw, but I mean, she's still gorgeous. I absolutely love her. I will not be selling her. I love Rock Angels Chloe, and I will gladly own like 15 of her because I love her. I am a Rock Angels Chloe hoarder, and I am proud to admit it. Decided to put her in her second outfit just for now. Cause you know, can't have a naked doll on YouTube, God forbid, <laughs> get flagged for nudity. I don't know if YouTube actually still does that, but uh. The next item I have for you guys is this Wintertime Wonderland Dana. She's in the same boat as Chloe where she needs to be washed, but her hair is still in its original style for the most part. The rubber bands are totally broken though. They're like dry rotted. I already have this doll as well. But um, she caught my eye because she's wearing both a skirt and a piece, this piece that is hers, as well as these boots that also belong to her. She was fully clothed and cost about $12. A bit overpriced for a flea market if you ask me, but I st I've always liked Dana. Dana is very pretty, so very happy to have this doll too. I know a lot of people like to complain about Dana versus Megan, but have you ever- damn it. I know a lot of people like to complain about Dana versus Megan, but have you ever considered that maybe they're just girlfriends who kiss each other on the mouth? No? Maybe you should. 
First thing I do when I unbox this Megan is I'm going to make her kiss my sweetheart Dana, who I have. They'll stand next to each other on the shelf and they will hold hands for eternity. Anyway, lesbian brat stalls aside, I have one more item to show you guys. So, let us begin. This item might seem totally random, oh my god. I forgot that's what holding the doll stand does to my finger. Um, not the doll stand, the camera stand, because I have to hold my camera. But it's on a little stand to try to stabilize it a bit. Anyway, um, I found this Barbie and Raquel set. And it stood out to me immediately because one, life in the dream house, it's totally destroyed on this side. Barbie's face is in pieces. Cut her brain in the hemispheres. Like, it's it's bad. <laughs> Um, the lady who was selling this was said that the set was originally $25 and she would have asked for that, but because it got destroyed in- For some reason she told us it was her ex-boyfriend's car specifically, which is so funny. Like, thank you, random lady, selling things at the flea market for airing out all your business to me. I think it's hilarious. I am very invested. Thank you for selling me this set for $10 because Barbie and Raquel, I love them. I love these two. I especially have always really liked Raquel. Ever since, like, quips of her from the show started blowing up. Uh, Barbie is cute, too. My mom and I agreed that we would split the dolls. Like, she'll take the Barbie and I'll take Raquel. So I'm not sure where I'll put Raquel. But she's gorgeous. I absolutely love the jewelry. I love her dress. I just think they did such a good job with this set. They're so cute. It's a very nice set. Do you guys want me to review it? Before I remove them from this destroyed box... Would you like me to review this set? Please comment below. Overall, I just can't believe the condition that this box is in. Normally I would say that if it was like in good condition, but this is another level of bad. I'm grateful that the set was only $10 as a result. Like on the back, it says Barbie and Raquel, forever friends, forever fashion. Friends is questionable. Um, I don't know if there's any other sets in this line. But there's a ton of other characters from Life in the Dream House, so it's possible that they made more. Um, one of my Dream Raquel dolls, actually, is definitely the one made for the mainline series, where Raquel looks smug as hell. I really want that doll. This box is absolutely falling apart, so if you guys would just like to see me tear into it for a review, please make sure to let me know, because I would very much like to review this set, just because it gives me an excuse to talk about how much I like Raquel for like 10 minutes. Overall, I'm extremely happy with everything that I got today, even though I won't be keeping Barbie since my mom wants to put Barbie in her display case. That's fine with me. Um, I'll be displaying Raquel on my own time. As for Dana, she is due for a washing, so I'll probably do that. Chloe is totally fine now. I just need to get her some shoes, because she doesn't have feet currently. As for Megan, I would really like to do a review on her, so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the Barbie and Raquel review, and let me know if you will watch the Megan review, because please, 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 please. I'm just kidding. Watch it if you want. Watch it if you don't. I mean, don't want. Don't watch it if you don't want. Actually, you will watch the review. I'm threatening you. You will watch my reviews. You will watch my videos. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. I am insane. Real quick, since like I'm basically done with this video, I just want to ramble real quick. I love going to the flea market to look for dolls. I love looking around at the flea markets, I love going to thrift stores, but I feel like as certain brands get more popular, the thrift stores become aware of that and they start charging more for the dolls. Because I paid $12 for that, Dana. I mentioned that, she was 12 bucks. The lady like kind of knew about Bratz, but she was overpricing all the ones that she had. Because most of the time, if you see a Dana at the flea market, I'm pretty sure they only charge like five bucks. I was okay with paying 12 since I got Chloe for a dollar, so if I, like, add that together, they're, like, seven bucks each. You know, that's fair. That's, like, totally fair, I feel like. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like as dolls become more well-known, like Monster High, for instance, people kept telling me, they're like, oh, I had Monster High, but someone came by and bought them all. It's just wild to me to think that these people know what Monster High is. Like, a couple years ago, if I would go to the flea market and be like, oh, do you have any Monster High dolls? They'd be like, what's a Monster High doll? Because I've been thrifting since, like, I think I started around 2017. That was when I, like, first started, like, going to thrift stores and flea markets the most. I didn't really go to them that often before. Um, my first find that- why are my dogs barking again? As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the barking of my dogs, um, 
The find that really cemented me going to the flea market like every weekend was um, Nevra. Ne Nephora. I found first edition Nephora with her ring and everything and I was like, hey, this place is really cool. And so I just started going every week after that. Like I used to hit it occasionally, like in 2015, I think. Might have actually been earlier than that. It was, I think it might have been before I even started my YouTube channel, God. But um, I had actually gone to this one store, which is one of the main places that I go to now, like at my flea market. And um, it was run by this lady. Now her husband runs it. He's the one that I buy dolls from now. But um, he, she sold me a um, Dot Dead Gorgeous 3-pack with Draculaura, Gulia, and Abby. And that was kind of what made me keep going to the flea market, because I was like, oh, I could buy more dolls from them. It was like 40 bucks, which, looking back, that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. But um, what really made me keep going was finding Scara. Like, Comic-Con Scara. And then the next year I found Hoodood, and it, the rest is history. Like, I just keep going to the flea market now. And it's a lot of fun. It's just crazy to see how much things have changed. Like, Bratz, I don't even know how many times I saw Bratz dolls and just totally ignored them. But, like, now that I'm actually looking, I notice, like, just how many great dolls show up at the flea markets and at thrift stores. And, I don't know, I guess I just don't want to see the prices go up too much because thrifting is the best option for both collectors and for people who can't really afford the prices that they go for on eBay. Like, Rock Angel's Chloe, in this condition, nude, could easily go for like 30 bucks, and I don't approve of that. I don't think that's what she should be selling for. I think she should be selling for like five bucks, like a dollar, like what I paid. That's a good deal for her. I don't know, I guess I'm just rambling about doll prices again. Complaining about it doesn't really change the issue, because the issue just lies in the hands of people who are willing to pay way more for their dolls than the average person could afford. I'm not blaming rich people. But, um, you know, there are definitely people who don't spend their money in the wisest ways. I will never tell you guys what I paid for my Girls Really Rock Rock, so you guys don't need to know. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to let me know. Comment in the subscribe in the linking in the description in the boxes. Peace. See you in my next one. Bye.